Arabo Gummy Bears here. Just kidding, it's Bear Bones. And today I'm going to show you how to install custom armor mods, or any mods really for that matter, but specifically custom armor mods for Seamless Co op. I use this a lot for invasions. You'll see in my newer YouTube videos that are in Seamless, I'm wearing a Ring the Night set, which of course is not in the base game, it's ported from DS3. Um, but let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is to download Seamless Co-op. And anything I show you in this video, I'll leave the links in the description, so just take a look down below for those. Um, but when you download it, it's gonna give you this zip folder right here. Well, this will be the newest one. Um, so go ahead and extract that. I already have it in my downloads already. But we're gonna take these and we're gonna leave them there for a sec. Because first we're gonna download Mod Engine 2. And so same thing, just gonna go to this page and it'll be right here. And you're gonna download this zip file. And I'm just gonna drag it into the folder. So and then you'll see I've already extracted it, but it won't give any issues if I just extract it again. So let me give you this folder here. And within there, you're gonna have this guy. And we're gonna have to rename this to ME2 in capital letters. And it has to be exactly like that as far as I know. See, I already have that here. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and get rid of that. So next, you're going to take the Seamless Co-op that we just downloaded. And you're just going to take just the Seamless Co-op folder, we don't need the launcher. We're going to paste it into here. You'll see I already have it, but that's okay. I'm not going to replace them because I already have a password set. And from there, you'll see that we have this mod folder, and that's where we're going to be putting our mods, specifically in this parts folder. So all of these are the different pieces to armor sets that I've imported. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to head over to nexusmods.com, again this will be in the description below. And say we want the firelink set. From DS3. And so basically how these work is it's going to replace the armor files for any particular set. This one in particular is going to replace the fingerprint set and I'm going to install this one. So we go into files and take the manual download. You do have to be logged in to do this but it's free to make the account. And we'll just let that download. So we've got the filing set files downloaded. I keep all this stuff in a mod folder in case I ever have to reinstall everything. And I'll have it all in one spot. So I'm go there. To here. So we'll extract that as a file. Here. And sometimes it'll give it to you within a parts folder like this or sometimes it'll just give you the loose ones but normally it'll show up like this inside one of these you're just going to copy all of that go back to your mod engine 2 into mod and then into parts and we're going to paste it there so at this point in order to launch the game using these mods, we're going to go to launch mod Elden Ring .bat. Although there is one more thing, sorry, before we do that, we're going to need to replace this file here. So I'll leave the link to this in the description below as well. That the game folder into module 2 and replace the one that we have here. And now we can launch the game. 
Okay, so I've loaded into Seamless Co-op, and I'm just going to quickly spawn in the fingerprint set, because that is the one this one is going to replace. Do that real quick. Okay, and then you'll see I'm now wearing the Firelink set from DS3. And the next thing I'm going to do, this is mostly for invaders, but you'll see I'm wearing full vertigree with the Fire Knight Helm. This table I'm also going to leave in the description. It's the Seamless Invasions table that gives you better spawns and stops items from being injected into your inventory from the person's world that you're invading. Oh, pull up that guy, close the other one. Okay, so of course my game crashed for whatever reason. Probably because I closed that other CE table while I was opening this one, who knows. But your table's not gonna have this here, it's just gonna have TGA and Seamless Invasions, and you're gonna open up that Seamless one, then Armor Model Patcher, and then these two, Mask Options and Armor Mask. And we're gonna take these four values and replace them with the Fingerprint Set. Okay. And then from there, we're going to save this to a preset. I'm going to go here, save armor mask as preset. This one here, and we're going to replace that filing set. Cool. Now that you've done that, anytime you launch the game, you're just going to go into the presets and hit this. You also need to save the table. So I'm going to do that as well. Boom. And then finally, you gotta activate this script here. Change current armor to armor mask. And see if I fast travel back to the grace. Although I'm still wearing the Vertigree and the Fire Link, or the Fire Knight Helm, I am now in this set here. Same thing, if I wanna change over to what I normally use, just got to hit here on the preset and then reactivate this. And I'm now in this room tonight set. But that's about it. Again, I'll leave everything I used in the video in the description. And from there, you can download all the mods you want. There's a bunch of other shit you can do. You can replace the, the HUD in the top left corner with the network test one. You can remove all of the grass and things like that for a better frame rate. There's all sorts of things you can do. However, for now, I've just been messing with the armor sets primarily. But yeah, thanks for watching and leave a like and a sub if this helped you.